Welcome back. Let's play 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Good luck. Okay, I'm going to try to play Central File Rook, and we'll see where we end up. Typically in this opening, you push this silver very quickly, which is something I've frequently been neglecting to do. So this game, I will do it. <laughs> uh, our opponent has built Invincible Castle. It is a work of art. Um, Alright, well, I'm going to be embarrassed losing to that, but... Oh well. I wonder what motivated uh, the opponent's decision to do this castle. I mean, the effects in game are pretty exciting, but is it worth it? All right, we're going to do some improvised castle here, where I'm going to bring my silver up to defend the king's head. Actually, this is going to be a fun transposition, isn't it? Um... Never done it that way before, but that's a shape. We anxiously await hearing where the opponent's going to castle. Um... But no, I've built my castle. Oh, this is so confusing. I don't want to block my pieces, but I also don't know how to break this down. They're threatening this night move, and I'm not afraid of it. Or rather, I'm pretending not to be afraid of it. Alright, what the hell? That's not cool. Alright, I insist you leave. So my opponent has a pawn in hand. Um, why they did that, I do not know. I guess I blocked my bishop. I shouldn't have done that. I was concerned this knight might jump up here and force... I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I did this right. I don't think I did, but... Okay, I could drop a pawn here, or I could exchange and then drop a sil... or anything, really. Um...
I don't know how this works. Nanafun. A previous proverb said drop the lance on the back rank, and so I've dropped it on the back rank. Um, if they drop, yeah, they have to lead with the pawn, I think. Since if they lead with the lance, I just take it and repeat this. Um... I'm trying to defend the point immediately in front of my king. So if they push, we exchange multiple times, and then I have the square covered. Potentially even I could move the rook there and exchange rooks, although that looks scary, but, um, you know, this looks scary for them too. That's uh, potentially going to help me activate my bishop. Actually, wait a second. Okay, if he who captures first loses ground, yes, but... Well, no, eventually they get to do a lance drop here, which is unpleasant. Uh, <laughs> Curious. All right, I accept your bluff. I wish I had a forcing continuation there, and I don't. Oh, that is super weird. Okay, I think they missed this. Maybe I had something better than protecting this point, but uh, this looks convincing. Gold takes might eventually happen. It's uncomfortable, but... Um, there it is. And then we force this to go away so it's not attacking this square. If it retreats, then maybe I bring my bishop forward, but then they can push this, but then I can push that. Bishop, pawn, 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 take... Yeah, this looks fun. This looks worth the risk. Bishop here is not defended. Okay. Uh, yeah, it still looks worth the risk. This is still not defended. They could just move this, but will they? I don't know.
So the gold can't retreat diagonally, so uh, it's attacked. And I'm trying to open this file because the king's here, and I'm trying to open this diagonal because the bishop's there. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot about that. Maybe it's fine. Maybe I shouldn't have taken the knight, but should have taken the silver instead. <clears throat> I guess by maybe I mean almost certainly taking the knight must have been a mistake. Um, it's fine, I'll survive this somehow. The silver drop is too far away from my king. So I'm comfortable giving away my attack in this case. Although, it's interesting, if they do promote this lance and I try running away, this bishop doesn't have a good time. Welcome. So, potentially this promotion could be problematic, um, or troubling. Hmm. Maybe I don't worry too much about my bishop here. We'll see. Ah, uh, interesting. Let me... Possibly I might have some time. Um, I know both tonight and tomorrow is going to be quite busy, but... Um, yeah, perhaps later. Uh,
So I'm considering promoting here. I hadn't thought about this promotion until just... Oh. Okay, this is... Now strikingly obvious. Um, previously it was just a candidate, but... Um, Hmm? hmm. That didn't work how I thought. That did not at all work how I imagined. Oh, what do I do? That's probably clumsy, but I don't know, my king feels a little safer, and I still haven't figured out what to do about this situation. Maybe I try bringing the dragon back this way. Hmm. What I missed is that each time I take a pawn, they can eventually drop another pawn, and then after I don't take this one, then they can drop another piece, and so they get to attack one move faster every time I do that kind of exchange. That's annoying, because like, if I have pawns on all my columns, I can't place another pawn. So maybe I had a number of pawns and could have tried attacking on this column four. I just didn't see it. Um. Hmm. Thanks for the game. One down, two to go. Good luck.
what to do. Um, I'm going to do this again. Again, is this a blunder? I thought this was okay. Maybe it's not. Hmm. This is interesting. Well, we've played something immensely aggressive this game. And maybe I should be a bit more cautious, although I'm already down 90 seconds. And I have put some thought and effort into this, but I also realize it's kind of hopeless trying to figure out all of this. So I'm trying not to invest myself too much in this game. Just, this is like aversion loss. Um not wanting to face reality here. So I'm just playing it as if this is a dream of some sort. Um, it is interesting, but it also looks like way beyond my ability to solve it within a 10 minute game. If I win, I win. If not, that's okay. or loss aversion, or what's the word? Yeah, aversion refers to not wanting to look at something or wanting to look away from it. So we've trapped this horse. If I drop a gold, they promote, I take, they take. Um, hmm. If I drop a lance, it's the same thing. Nanafun. Hmm. I mean, clearly this is the threat they want to promote here. I don't know what to do about the damn horse. You know, I don't need to worry about that. Ross double clicks. That's no good. Uh, I needed the horse here. 
My mouse did that automatically. Sometimes it does that. Okay, well, we just made the game more complicated for no reason. <sighs> Threatening to take the knight would have been interesting. Um... So here, this hits the silver as well as corrals the horse. Um, my true purpose is to actually try to collect this or aim for the king just beyond it. So, of course, I know like the minute I try to do something decisive over here. They're going to drop a rook and everything's going to backfire somehow. That's just how this works. Um, hang on. That does not help defend the king. It looks like it helps defend the king, but there's problems there. Wait, if I drop that, maybe it goes on the center column or elsewhere. I was thinking of this knight drop, but it's not so great. Um, yeah, we're going to drop this here right now, because there's a pawn on the file already, so they can't block with the pawn. Really, I wanted to drop the knight here. But it's not legal. All right, so. Go fun. This time, carefully promoting that. Um. Okay. Sure, we can do this. Yeah, that's painful. Well, maybe not. Maybe I live. If I'm lucky. This temporarily holds on to the lance. I don't know if that's a terrible idea. Um, I suspected they might try that.
This is complex. Oh, I've got three minutes. I should stop talking and just play. Mm. 2分 30秒 2分 1分 30秒 1分 Two games down, one to go. Thank you. That was a mess, but I prevailed. Good luck.
I thought I had that covered somehow. Hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So I seek to check my king. Um, what if I just say no? I'd rather not get checked today. My king might be going on an adventure here. Um, because they could drop a bishop to hit my bishop. Although I could use my pawn to protect this. Hmm. My king might be going on an adventure. I don't know. Yeah, I missed that. So my lance is hanging, and that could be a significant problem here. Um, hmm. That's... Here we are. I don't think we expected to be here, but... Here we are. Hmm. Is there any way to defend my king? <laughs> oh, we've made a mess of this. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Bishop takes as possible. They didn't do it. I lucked out. Well, let's celebrate that luck by actually defending my king. Nanafun.
So now I can drop a knight and attack this and try to win it. Uh, but also, like, the keg potentially could be attacked from this direction if I just back up the horse and hit this. But also the horse really belongs defending my king and not attacking the opposing king. Um, yeah, the opponent uses their pawn, as they should. If you have the pawn, you might as well use it. Hmm. Go fun. Shake my cursor a bit. Maybe this will. I don't know. There's something mechanical going on with the mouse this morning. It's sometimes double clicking, sometimes shaking around a bit on the mouse pad. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, if I could open this, then I would have a direct line of sight to the king. Um. Also, my horse defends this point, and so far all my opponent has are pawns, so it makes sense to just keep exchanging pawns at this point, but not give them anything other than a pawn. Maybe I should have gone back to 5-5 five five instead. I don't know. This is nicely close to my king, so it's easy to protect my king with something so close to it. Um, I could also bring the rook up and over. The opponent does have two pawns to stop that, but then they'll be out of pawns. Okay, finally I offer a lance. I'm so generous, aren't I? Um, interesting.
They're trying to trap my rook. They're going to need more than one lance to do that. I missed that my horse was hanging there. Sampun. So this is preventing my work from promoting. So I'll remove this obstacle. I don't want them taking this point and breaking the side of my castle. So I'm encouraging this bishop move, uh, although that might pose some problems now that I... Well, actually, the greater point is that this will be loose. Maybe I had this tactic several times already and missed it every time, but this time I'm not missing it. Um, Nifun. Check. Check.
I didn't see a mate, and I'm moving too quickly, but uh, I'm winning this. Without question, I am winning this. That was complicated, but we got there. Time pressure can do crazy things. If I had another 10 minutes, I would have looked for a cleaner way to do that. And in longer games, you should look at that. And eventually in shorter games, if you've played enough long games, eventually your skills do translate to shorter games. So interesting stuff there. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at this game one, move 79. This looks, this sounds interesting. Yeah, should we take a quick look at this? Um, bonus content, why not? So, move 79. <laughs> hey, look, we're going to be here all day. Uh, that's fine. But no, let's start with one thing at a time. Um, sorry that everybody's got to take a number here. Okay. So, game one, move 79. Um, oh, I'm not capturing this, am I? No, we need this view. Move 79, the move played was Lance drop, or Lance takes 1-6 was the move played on move 79. Um, I considered rook takes rook, I considered rook takes pawn, I considered bishop takes pawn, I considered pawn takes pawn, I considered gold takes pawn, I considered gold drop 8-3, silver drop 8-3, and gold drop 1-2, silver drop 1-3. Uh, I forget if I considered knight drop 1-4. I considered knight drop 3-4, um, but... After the game, I remarked that possibly pawn drop 4 or 5 is an idea. So, like, I considered lots of different things here, but I probably missed whatever the key move is. There's probably something convincing. Um, yeah, so... Oh yeah, this is the first one that I played, um, which is third in the grid there. There are many ways to win. It is important to learn attacking skills that translate across games. Um, I wonder... So I'm thinking pawn takes 6-4. Threatening to promote here looks interesting. Maybe that's completely off base. Maybe rook takes rook is a better way about it. And then dropping the rook, waiting, they'll block with something, and then doing pawn takes pawn. Okay. Um, there is 3-4 knight. Okay. Yeah, this occurred to me, but I did not evaluate the king's safety here. That's interesting. So yeah, three four knight is very fast, and they don't have a gold general to drop um, in the event that I start attacking. So like, maybe it's the continuation before three silver, threatening to drop here, threatening to take this, threatening all kinds of stuff, and then pawn six four also. Stuff like this would greatly accelerate my attack. Or 4-3 pawn, even. Uh, let's take a look. 
four three pawn. That is nice. Yeah. That I can get behind. I was not so sold on the silver idea. Um, but yeah, if you can exchange your pawns for opposing pieces, granted the bishop's going to move, and but like the more pawns I have next to the king, the more chances I have to promote something and attack faster. The 4-3 silver drop is a bit greedy and seeks to get the gold back, but this is much, this looks beautiful. Uh, yeah, this looks very hard for the opponent to resist. Um, threatens 5-2 gold. Interesting. Hmm. Huh. Or, I'm sorry, 4-3 silver is the mate threat. Right. Yeah, I was thinking, like, could this also threaten mate? But yeah, 4-3 silver... I think they would defend the mate threat, and then I get the gold back, and then I spend additional tempi coming back and attacking again, whereas this just speeds up the attack. Doesn't have a direct mate threat, but threatens to promote the spawn, and like this king has to start running pretty soon. And the opponent's attack is not going to overwhelm me in the time it takes for me to pull this off. 4-3 pawn, 3-3 three, three bishop. Uh, two 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 three two rook. Now, if we're exchanging on two two, um, do we want to do that before we drop this pawn? No, no, we want to do this first. Otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, if they have a rook in hand, this gets really dicey. But okay, so here, you take pawn takes for some reason. Um. Oh, I want to keep the king in the back rank. Okay. 3-2 rook. Oh, that's cool. Very interesting. I've not seen this keep the king on the back rank uh, trick or tactic before. Um, yeah, so this... Oh, and then we're threatening to drop over here, too. Well, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, this would be far more convincing than what I did. Oh, yeah, of course there's the gold drop here, mate threat, and all that stuff. But, yeah, um, this looks pretty powerful. Nice. Well spotted. Uh, we've given the opponent a rook, and I'm probably not getting mated here. Um, probably living, even though that's their pawn, not mine. I could bring this back, but then they push here. Um, hmm. What do I do? I can't drop a pawn here. Oh, he doesn't have enough to checkmate me. Okay. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so if I if they try to defend like this, um Yeah, then this uh is quite forcing. Though I'm trying to work out the details here. Now maybe silver drop seven two is incorrect. Um, I mean, there's this check, but I don't want to check if... Well, maybe I do. Usually checking just leads to them escaping faster, but here, maybe that's not the case. 3-1 rook promotion. And then they have to block, so they block with something like this. Oh, they can't, because they already have something on the file. All right. Um, let's see if they're continuing to attack, they'll do this. I'm just... Well, yeah. No, okay, yeah, their attack fails, even if they had one more general in it. 
I could get one more general in my defense, but um, then 7-2 silver here. Yeah, that makes sense. So this is threatening mate over there, threatening a knight. Um, and so for them to delay checkmate further, they can't continue their attack. My attack's one move faster. Or at least one move, maybe two moves. Um, that's pretty nice. Yeah, there's no easy way to wriggle out of this thing. Trying to escape this way. Just result well. Check, king up, check, king take, silver drop, king 5-1. No, I don't know. Oh, gold, king, dragon takes, is mate. Never mind. Okay, that's a mate in three. So yeah, those mates, they'd have to like drop another piece and the entire castle collapses at that point if they try to defend that way. Um, instead of 3-1 rook, uh, we could take a look at that. Yeah. Let's see. We can get this variation. Hmm. Yeah, let's take a look. I wasn't fully sold on the rook promotion. So instead of that, we approach from this side. Um, hmm. Well, I'm sorry. I'm getting my lines confused here. Still, there's a lot of attacking forces here, and this attack is slower than I thought it was. Um, and I guess that's the key here. It, my attack would be even faster if my bishop were not blocked by this pawn, but there's only so much I can do at this point. Um, but yeah, that's very cool. Right, let's see if I can try to measure this out. Um, so we have this, but I see a mention of 4-2 gold, 5-3 pawn, 4-2 gold. 3 own rook, 4-1 knight, 7-2 silver, 5-3 pawn. Oh, the, yeah, right. I'd suggest 5-3 pawn here. 4-2 gold. Oh, right. I have a pawn here. This is so much harder with all the pieces being the same color and me getting confused which pawn is right side up. Like, it should be obvious by now, but um, yeah, and then that makes sense. That's my pawn. So yeah, this is uh, mate. So yeah, the 4-2 gold is the mate threat there. And therefore, Yep, this all works. So this 5-8 rook drop just isn't... They don't have the right pieces to orchestrate a mate, despite having two pawns encamped here and all these pieces lining up. They don't have a mate here, whereas I'm able to conjure one very quickly um, by way of this... If they take that and if this bishop runs away... Then I'm able to conjure a mate threat if the bishop runs here. And if after having run the bishop there, uh, they allow checks. Well, yeah, so this defends the 3-1 square, but probably gives up other things in return. And plus the gold generals hanging. So like, yeah, this is still winning. Uh, yeah, pawn takes us a bit curious but um still this is crushing so that's pretty cool i apologize i want to get to everybody's comments i don't have time this morning but um we'll take a quick look unfortunately i can't get canto to load uh in my browser uh but yeah thanks and let's take a quick look at move four out here of game two um if I can, 
One, two, three. I played this bishop move. I wonder what could be said here. Um, like I've played rook three two. I've played rook four two. I thought bishop three three is fine, but perhaps the best move is gold three two. Um, yeah, this moving the bishop before moving the gold seems unnecessary. Also, the diagonal's closed, so potentially I don't need to move the gold at all. Uh, potentially I could move this silver, like, um, here. And then if they open this, then we could do either bring the silver up or the gold bishop up or the gold up. Any of those, I think. I don't know if this is playable. It's probably best if I check Play Shogi on these matters. It has a database of many games. We could see what other players have tried. Um, but yeah, here I played uh, Bishop 3 3, which is. I've done it a few times, but that doesn't make it right. So. Um, yeah, I'll have to take a closer look at some of this. But I also do need to wrap this up. So, let's see, can I get this back? Yeah, this is a good analysis session. Ah, thanks. Cool. That's good to know. So yeah, thanks everyone. Hope we enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and have a good day.